Hey guys, I've been exploring on the idea of creating videos about being a hairstylist and I have decided to just go with it because I'm just another person making other videos on YouTube and I'm so excited to share about this thing. So today I have decided <coughs> start by sharing the regrets i have being a hairstylist i'm just going to share three regrets i have and i hope that you guys will be able to learn from this if you're a hairstylist and if you're not maybe you'll just realize that hairstylists are human too and we make mistakes and regret it so thank you for tuning in stay tuned so my first regret definitely has to do with money and there's also another point that has to do with money. And, um, my first point is I was so scared to raise my price, even though it was unreasonable that I, the, the amount I was getting paid. Okay, it's me who set the first price, of course, but that price stopped working. That time it was because of the fare I was paying to, to go to their place because I do house calls. Uh, so scared to be to communicate that that amount has reduced drastically due to the fare. And that is one of the, I, I always felt like trash when I went to do some work and felt like all my money was just wasted on fare or food or labor was too much. So I had to do something with the money in order to feel better about it. And so I would go home having made nothing because I was too scared to raise my price. And customers are understanding and if you just told someone that I really need you to pay my fare, which I have been doing of late, and they actually don't mind. If they want you to do their hair, they wouldn't force you to come to their place and do their hair for free. <laughs> and everyone understands the theatres. So if you don't explain to your customer something, they won't be able to help you. So not communicating my price, being too scared to communicate my price, reads was one is one of my biggest biggest regrets but i have bigger regrets second regret is when working with clients who refuse to pay um uh, not not exactly refuse or yeah so this is going to sound a bit twisted <laughs> or i don't know i don't know if you're going to be if this has happened to you before but i've worked with people who told me okay just to do my hair but i'll pay you in a few days or i'll pay you in a week's time so no uh, I said okay because now you can't force money out of someone after you've done their hair. So what happens is instead of waiting, okay, because they told me I'll pay you tomorrow. The specific client, one of the specific clients who refused to pay, said I'll pay tomorrow. And uh, I the next day there was no sign of them, and I started texting them. Yeah, I texted and texted. <laughs> And texted why I don't know it's like calm down Cindy <laughs> okay I regret this because this was just out of character because I don't know I guess everyone learns from mistakes but I was also a bit offended because I could see they are ignoring me so I continued texting and texting and being like hey you're not sending me the money and it's so bad. Ugh. Mistakes. Anyway, they eventually paid. And I really wish that I had not been so pestering. I feel bad for that one. That one, I feel bad. <laughs> and I hope you guys don't make the same mistakes. That said, no customer, no client is supposed to not pay their hairstylists. That's just on period. It's best if you find the money you want, the, man, the money you need to do your hair before doing your hair. Rather than making the hairstylist feel wasted and unpaid. I'm sure when I was texting, I was just feeling, I got tired doing your hair. I was so, I was up early to do your hair and you are not paying me. I was mad because of that. So it's best if both parties agree that 
will wait until the one who's paying has um, enough money and I will immediately come and do your hair. My third regret about being a hairstylist is a personal one. It's a personal story. My One of my clients asked me to go do their hair and the distance was far. It was so far. I would spend twice the amount of money. They were going to almost twice the amount of money they were going to pay me to go do their hair and back to my place i would spend twice the amount of money they're going to pay me and of course that's just that's just sensibly not it's not possible it's impossible and it's in it's insensitive to think that that should be fair to the hairstylist but it's my regret because I did not, I, I did the math, I did the math, and decided, you know what, I'm not going to do this client's place to do her hair. But you know what I didn't do? I didn't inform them that I'm not going. Why? Why? Why didn't I inform them? Why wasn't I just frank and honest and said, hey girl, I can't make it to your place because it's going to cost me so much, much, much money. <sighs> you know what? I was scared of hurting their feelings. But come to think of it, I hurt their feelings without going. So, <sighs> anyway, these are my three regrets. And I'm going to make this a thing. And I'm going to have study Sundays here on my channel every Sunday posting ish about being a hairstylist because I have been a hairstylist for so long oh and I love sharing about this because it's so personal and I get it's it comes naturally to me because I have experienced this if you have anything to add please leave in the comment section below you know we don't mind it please hit the like button and help my video to reach many more people please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can be informed that I have posted a new video bye see you on the next one